Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to go through a little favourites. So I'm going to just dive right into it and get it done. Uh, it's going to be a really quick one and most of them I don't actually have here to show you because it's other bits. So we will go right to the first thing which I do actually have here to show you and it is a primer. So I've been using this cooler Daydream Mineral Primer for a little while now. It's got SPF 30 in it, so it makes life super easy because you can just use it as um, SPF this time of year. Obviously that's super handy. Um, it doesn't leave a whitewash over your face because it does look quite white, I do realise that. But it leaves a really lovely sort of um, wash over your face, almost a little bit illuminating. Um, yeah. It is water resistant for up to 40 minutes, uh, but of course I wouldn't use this as an SPF anyway, so yeah. There might be people who do, but I personally wouldn't use this as an SPS, um, SPF, but I wouldn't personally use this as an SPF. So yeah, it's really lovely. I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a new primer and you are in the way of getting an SPF as well, so yeah. Just whack it all in one. Another thing I've really been loving, another thing I've really been loving is the Too Faced Chocolate Solil. So this one is intense, but it's still really, really workable for people with my skin tone. So yeah, it's a very lovely matte bronzer I don't know what I, th I assume this is a sample size um, I've had this for quite a while now but I assume this is a sample size and I don't know what the big size comes like but um, yeah I do really really love it One of the things I don't have in front of me is I have been using apple cider vinegar and a water mixture in just like a little uh, spray bottle from, I think it was from Primark, but you can get them in Poundland, you can get them anywhere, um, as like a pre-shampoo. And I've really been liking that. I've noticed my hair's been a lot shinier. I wasn't using conditioner, so that caused a lot of my scalp to flake off. So it's sort of sort the so it's sort of sorted that issue out for me. Um, yeah, so I really, really like doing that. It does make your hair smell quite vinegary, um, but if you give it like a double uh, shampoo after, and if you use conditioner, then a little bit of conditioner, and I'm sure it will smell fine. So yeah, but it has made, but it has made such a huge difference to my hair. So it was worth a mention for this month. Another thing I've also been loving is turmeric. So I have gone on to like the turmeric lattes, a little bit late to the party, but I really, really love them. Um, so yeah, and I made a chicken recipe, which is gonna be up on my blog soon. So I will add the link once that goes up. And then, yeah, it's, it's just, I just really like it. It's anti-inflammatory. It's got loads of great stuff. Um, attached to it so yeah I just really like it I thought again it was worth a mention another thing that I've really been loving this month is another thing I've really been loving this month I've had it for ages but I've only really properly used it and utilized it this month is Depop so if you don't know what Depop is it's essentially an a style of eBay. Um, I sell a lot of makeup that I've bought and haven't opened and I know that my skin won't go with or you know uh, clothes things like that so I have been selling a lot of stuff on my Depop trying to get rid of stuff because it's that time of year where I am 
like ransacking the house and making sure that everything's nice and tidy because we've got a really busy summer. So I am trying to get everything sorted and Depop is coming so handy. I've sold loads of stuff on there. You can buy stuff on there as well if that's what you want to do. It's, yeah, it's been super handy and the selling fees aren't that expensive. It depends per product, obviously. It depends how much you've sold things for, but yeah, it's, it's super easy. I haven't had touch wood, haven't had any problems with it yet. So again, had to, had to say about it. Wax melts are another thing that I've really been loving. I am through and through a candle girl. I really am. I hardly ever use wax melts. I actually got some as a present a few years ago and on my little mission to get the house sorted, I thought I'd start using them up. But I really am loving it. Um, I love the fact that you can sort of just like reuse the wax melts. Obviously, if anybody watches Mrs. Hinch, she uses them a lot. And I think that's why I got put off using them because of cleaning it. And I wasn't really sure the best way to do it, but she came up with a really easy hack to clean wax melts. And it takes like minutes. It takes max five minutes. And that is what I needed basically. So I've been using mine quite a bit. It is on right now over there. Um, I use Yankee ones just because that's what I have but there's again loads of shops on like eBay and stuff like that that sell their own versions that are much cheaper so definitely worth a check out if that's something that you want to do. I'm never going to get rid of candles that's just I just love candles so much and I love them more for like decorative purposes but it's definitely a good shout having wax melts around. while I've got it and I've taken a bit of a drink, I also really am loving this. So it's just a little plastic straw. It says good vibes only and it was from Poundland. Obviously it's a, it was a pound. I'm pretty sure it was a pound. Things in Poundland aren't a pound anymore, are they? Sometimes, um, but I'm pretty sure this was a pound. And I just find it helps me drink a lot more water um, when I'm at home. I don't take this out because it leaks. It really leaks um, the little plastic bit that came inside like the rubber went somewhere like literally on day one and I have no idea where it went <laughs> so yeah it leaks loads but um yeah I really like it it makes me drink a lot and I don't know how big it is that's the only thing does it say no but it's BPA free all that vibe um it's not dishwasher safe so that's the only thing that i don't like about it is that i can't just chuck it in the dishwasher with everything else but obviously it's not hard to clean either so it's fine So the last few things, we're skipping back to some makeup and I had to mention the Revlon Colorstay Concealer. It's just super easy. It matches my skin tone whether I'm light or dark. It's just got a really lovely blendability to it. Um, so I've really been loving this. I literally wear this every day and you can see it's starting to, it's starting to go. I think I've got another one stocked somewhere though. <laughs> um, yeah, the, they are a really good price point which makes it so much easier on things. I absolutely love the Urban Decay, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called, but I absolutely love the Urban Decay concealer and NARS Creamy concealer, but they're just so expensive. And I, I actually go through concealer more than I go through foundation because I would much prefer to just wax some concealer on where I need it. I get quite red here, so, I, if I'm going for a heavier look, I obviously have to go quite heavy on those sections to make sure that they, the redness doesn't come through. Or if I just want a pretty bare look, but I do still want to cover up the redness, 
then I'll just whack concealer on, which makes it so much easier that it's a lovely shade um, that sort of blends into your skin really nice. And then the final thing, which is an oldie but a goodie for me, is the Benefit What's App. Is the Benefit What's Up uh, highlighter. And this is a little sample version that's lasted me forever, actually. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, like, champagne-y glow. Everyone always comments, even when I just wear this by itself, everyone always comments on what I'm wearing. So, yeah, it's definitely a good one. I don't know how much it is in full size. I've never had to buy it because this bad boy has survived for a while, probably longer than I should have allowed it to. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's almost probably got a few more weeks out of this so yeah love it so that is it for this video I hope you liked it if you did give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye